everyone. Welcome to take five. It's Tuesday if you're watching this when we actually posted it. It's Tuesday of Holy Week actually. So actually Thursday's show, we are going to, I want to do something just to remind ourselves of Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday as well. Um, but today we're going to continue in our series of the Ten Commandments, five on ten. We are on command number eight, which is um, you shall not steal steal. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Um, don't take someone else's stuff. <laughs> it's funny, I just thought of this as, as we're doing the show. When I was in, I forget, sixth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, I got picked up for shoplifting at Montgomery Wards. Who was I in trouble? Do not steal is what this says. It, which, when you say you shall not steal, think about this just right off the bat. It does presuppose um, private property. This is mine. This is yours. <laughs> this is mine. And, and so it's, there's a distinction between what's mine and yours. Do not steal, in a sense, presupposes that. And again, remember that the Ten Commandments... Uh, the entire Mosaic Law, beginning with the Ten Commandments, were part of the law of uh, starting a new nation. And so these laws, including this one, were meant for a, a stable and just society. And letting stealing run rampant would ruin that. That's what this is all about. To be able to have a peaceful, just, uh, stable society. Don't steal. So I'm brainstorming as you're listening to this and you're thinking, how do I steal or how have I been stolen from? Um, brainstorming on what this includes. Well, it inc certainly includes the theft of goods, right? Don't take my car and I won't steal yours. Um, taking money. Um, tax evasion. Playing games at work, I think, right? When you're on the clock and you're on your computer or you're on your phone and you're you're playing all kinds of games, aren't you sort of stealing money from the company? Sort of, I think. Um, again, I don't want to be anal about it. Sorry about that. But um, yes, I think that would include that. But it also includes price gouging, doesn't it? Um, so all of a sudden, there's a problem on the other half of the world, and gas prices go up $2 a gallon. It's like, really? You're going to do that? So anyway, I think all of that includes stealing. Um, I also think in areas, just because of what my life rubs up against, I think of human trafficking. I work with an organization called the Dignity Freedom Network. That's what this cup is all about. They gave it to me. I, I didn't steal it. <laughs> uh, it's all about, uh, among other things that Dignity Freedom Network does, it works in the human trafficking area of women and the way they are trafficked. Children are trafficked. Uh, don't steal people. I mean, that's a, it's a huge problem of our society. Uh, it would also, I think, include um, stealing someone's dignity, someone's honor, um, perhaps on Facebook or on social media, or you slam somebody's reputation, or you steal um, their dignity. Don't do that. that that's stealing, right? Um, I think of, of the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I think this all fits into this as well. I think of identity theft. I think of credit card fraud. I mean, it's, yes, to have a just society, this rule, this law must be followed. And even in the church scholarship uh, areas that I run in, I, I think of stealing intellectual property. And so uh, plagiarism of a man or a woman writing a PhD dissertation, can't do that. You got to do footnotes and you got to cite. Uh, people steal each other's sermons. I mean, yeah, they do. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, or even the song lyrics that uh, the church has put up on their screen for worship. You've you got to give credit. Um, all of that is. Now, let me, let me bring it around finally just to say um, I, that I don't think it's too much of a stretch to say that Commandment 8 also includes not loving my stuff so much that I am unwilling or unable to give to those in need. Now, Jesus taught us to pray, give us this day our daily bread, our daily bread. So first of all, I'm recognizing the source of my stuff, of my bread. It's God. He gave it to me. And it's, here's the, okay, I do believe private property is in this. Yes, indeed. And yet, our daily bread 
it says, when I pray for it, it's ours. So if God gives me two loaves of bread, I'm going to give you, if you need one, one. Uh, that's part of it too. John Chrysostom was an early church father, and he says something pretty smart that I think we balance with the idea of um, private property. He says, not to enable the poor to share in our goods is to steal from them and deprive them of life. The goods we possess are not ours, but theirs. I get it. Balance that. Our daily bread, the Lord gave it to me. And yet, this also is mine. Do not steal. Command number eight. Think what a better place this world would be if we all obeyed command number eight. See you Thursday.